Hey, how's it going, gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sandbox Channel. Today we're gonna be building the real great extra repair free. So, for those of you that don't know, uh, the extra repair free, you know, most of us know the Gundam extra, the extra repair too, because we watched the anime. Extra repair free came from the double OV battle view record. So, uh, I think Setna used this unit to save the prisoners. Uh, because they were captured for the experiment on innovators, I think. that That's what I remember for the story. And for this time, because Cessna is so OP, and then, you know, he can snipe. He can snipe with this gun right here, uh, like, from very far away. And then, you know, knock down 12 Jinx free from what I remember. Um, I don't really remember the story because, because I, don't, I think I only read it once. So I don't really exactly remember what happened. But... That's, but this unit came from the double V. That's the main point. And I think that uh, by looking at the promotional picture, by looking at the structure, I think that this extra is is worth way more than the repair two because the repair two always gave me a feeling it's just ripping off a couple swords and then you know sell it to you again. Uh, the repair three, at least I can see some you know armor changers, uh, extra weapons. At least I can see those things. So I think that repair three, uh, worth a little bit more. But anyway, let's not talk too much. I'm just gonna open up the runners first. Uh, first, let's quickly flick through about the instruction menu so we can take a look at this. So, uh, as I can see from the instruction menu, uh, there are multiple runners will be left out a lot of uh, parts. So, um, okay. So, we're just going to quickly look at the instruction menu. Now, we're going to look at the stickers. And then the color guy right here. And okay, that's pretty much it. So let's look at the runner. So first, we of course have this uh, MS joint. It is exactly the same as the x share, so there's no point to introduce it. Now, we have a G1 runner. This is from the x share Repair 2. So I think uh, the majority of this runner is only used for the sword. Um, I, I'm not really sure about the armor, but we will see about it. Uh, this is a D1 runner. Uh, it's, came, it's coming from the original X share. So as we can see right here, we can it contain the uh, the arms part right here, and then we have the arms uh, the arms part right here again. And we have some gen drives. We have some front skirt. We have some. Uh, this is a legs part. We have a gen drive with legs part shield, and then we have some. I think this part is the arms as well. Yeah. And then we have an A runner. Yep, A runner is the is from the original extra, but I think most of the most of the part on the A runner is not really gonna be in use. I think this is the torso part right here. This is the uh this is part of shoulders. Uh, this is the part of shoulders. This is the show the top of the shoulders. We have some shield. We have some legs part. We have some. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we have the pilot figure right here. We have two E runners. And the E runners right here, uh, they are exactly the same. They uh, have the, got the hand piece armor right here. They got the legs armor. They got the, the legs piece right here. They got the gen drive connector. We got antenna. We have uh, the gen sword as well. But the gen sword, from my memory, the extra repair free only contained two from my memory. And we have a C1 runner. The C1 runner is from the extra itself. So we have the beam saber effect part. We have the torso part. We have the uh, inner joint of some of it. And then we have the clear piece for basically everything on the extra. And then we have the G2 runner. This is from the extra repair 2 as well. So we can see that there's some uh, parts where it's going to be like the legs different. We have the, I don't know which this part, but we have some armor different right here. As I said, I don't really know they are going to use it or not because I didn't really read, uh, I didn't really read the instruction menu clearly. We have a D2 runner exactly the same as the D1 runner, so we're just going to skip it. Then we have a F runner. The F runner is exactly the same as the or as the original extra, providing hands option. Uh, we have the legs part right here, the uh, the shield, shield, uh, the blade, but this blade, I don't, uh, the blade right here, and then, uh, all kind of in joint right over here. We have a eye runner. This is 
and or a new runner for the extra repair free we can see the gun the inner joint of the guns so we can see the inner joint of the gen condenser as well and then we have the X runner right here this is a new runner as well so we can see that there's new shoulders there is the new back the back right here there's new skirt armor as well so yep i assume that uh, most of the part that i just mentioned some of it will be not uh not uh, no needed for this clip for this kit and we have this piece right here it's the same one as the extra is the gen transmitter uh, it's the gen transmitted all over of the extra body right now i didn't open it because uh, i don't really want to damage it so we're just going to see through it then we lastly we have the decals right here the decals i don't think there's much difference than the original extra it's just a couple i think it's just a couple uh marking difference so not really worth to say it so that's basically for the extra repair free part so uh let's jump into the review hi there so this is the finish of the extra repair free so this is the finishing of it um it so you know i just finished the build and i have a couple things more to say that the extra this time it looks a little better it's mixing a design uh combining all the previous two extra the extra and then the extra repair the extra repair two it makes like all those design into this repair free so you know um the design of it i looks i think it looks pretty fine but uh i do have some things what to say that is that uh for some reason i don't know it's my extra kind of got flaws in it or something like that at some part so i use the old rg extra that i have i took it out and then do a little comparing um for some reason my extra free some I uh, have some parts that is pretty loose. I don't. I'm not really sure about the reason. Uh, so I think I just got a bingo or something like that. But anyway, that's not the point. So extra repair free overall. Uh, the finishing is pretty amazing. Weapons is pretty unique as well. But sadly, we don't get the chrome plated blade anymore. I prefer that kind of blade on the GN sword. This time the GN sword is just a clear piece. So that's why I don't. You know, I don't feel as excited when I see the extra again because I really prefer the chrome plated, the chrome plated silver blade over than this clear green blade. You know, the plated one it looks way better, but that's not the point. So let's dig into the review first. First, I want to go through the parts where it's got left. So as you can see on the picture right now, there's actually a lot of part left. Mainly is from the original extra. Uh, some extra repair to run that they got something left as well but it's not really a big deal it's just a back skirt and a torso part other than that it's not really a big deal but we can see mostly the parts got left out is actually from the original extra mm, I kind of think that it is pretty good it, you can kind of say that they put a lot of new they used a lot of new parts instead of you know reusing the original extra run the part too much but mm, I feel like there's a lot of waste right here because that's actually pretty that's like a lot of part that left out so if you're someone that like customizing your gambler I think you should cut them down and then just have them with the uh, leftover parts looking at the leftover part we can see that the R2 back skirt got left out the torso part of the R2 is left out as well most of the extra part is left out as well for example the blade the inner frames and some outside armor because the legs is actually completely new we can see some shoulder part right there is left out as well we can see some of the gm parts and the gm sword as well so basically most of the part is left out is from the extra so now welcome to the comparing round so let's take out the good old extra that i built around six months ago is that i i, I don't really remember I, did i build it six months ago i don't really remember so that's the good old extra that we got as you can see right here the the appearance uh it just have a small tweaks it's not really like really um that much it's just a couple small tweaks so we can look at it so uh the left side of course is our extra the right side is the extra repair free uh their height is pretty much the same so of course it's the same extra how what are you supposed to expect like it got taller or something like that no so uh we can we mainly focus on that the shoulders are clearly changed the legs part is clearly changed the whole leg armor is basically a um, couple pieces changes that's why we have 
these stickers right here that's just got left out so these stickers right here is serve as a purpose that for like these kind of G uh, gn transfer tape uh this time our extra repair free we don't have much on the extra anymore so it got a couple of left out pieces on the sticker so that's pretty much it and then we can and you know when it turn to when we turn it to the back we can see a uh, noticeable difference so first we got a gn drive at the left side then we got a storage tank on the right side and by the way because the left out part is there's so much left out part that you can actually reassemble a gn drive from the extra repair free itself but sadly we don't have the connectors to put it back again because they because their design is completely different so um, you only get a gn drive for nothing you basically can't put it on anyway so uh we'll take a take a look at the back Take a look at the back, uh, there's noticeably different and I just noticed my extra got a piece missing. That's fine, that's not really important. Um, so we take a look at it is that um, first, the the back legs right here, they got two different two different uh, type of armor right here. So this one right here is a flat armor. This one right here used the extra repair two parts to create this armor again. And we have that and then we have uh, something different is the back skirt right here. The back skirt right here, uh, we our OG X year got like four swords on it. Meanwhile, our X year repair free is just a very simple back skirt right here. It's not it's not really anything different. And I checked the runners. This back skirt is different than the X year repair two as well. So you can consider that th that's another new part. And we also don't have the two blades at the back of the shoulders as well that's pretty much the difference uh so if you ask me is this gamble have a lot of difference sure um it only so basically the difference is the appearance is a little different so extra concept is seven sword from so from seven sword we are down to three we only have two on the on the on the side skirt and then one large gn sword custom that's pretty much it so uh, that's the thing that you need to know. Uh, tell me in the comments, do you think the RG extra looks better or the repair free looks better? Tell me in the comments and we can have a discussion. As usual, we will start from the head. So this head have absolutely no difference from the uh, extra that you just saw. So that's not much really like special things about it. So the articulation exactly the same like the RG extra that we reviewed before. It can lift a bit up, lift a bit down, use the exact same design, but it still contains the same thing like the extra. The antenna is very sharp and uh, it's very, it's, it's very thin as well. So the model kit is actually pretty nice. It got another antenna for you. So my suggestion to you, my suggestion to you is cut it out, don't throw it away in case you know you break your antenna, so you can you know snap on another one just to repair it. Yeah, that's how extra repairing works. Now we are looking at the torso. So the torso, as usual, uh, at the, the side the side antenna here, this yellow antenna right here is movable. Uh, this piece right here is movable as well, but it's pretty easy to fall out. So please be careful when you try to move. Uh, I, until this day, I still don't understand what this articulation is for. Um, so yeah, so the extra can move uh, side to side very little bit. Uh, so moving 360, that's absolutely no problem as well. So this chest piece right here is actually a new part. Uh, it's used from the extra repair to runner, but it got a very annoying thing is the cockpit is very easy to open, but if you try to snap it back, it always got a gap on it and it, it looks very annoying. Uh, it just can't push back. I just can't push in the cockpit door. It's just very frustrating for me so i don't know is this like a quality problem or is it like um a problem that already existed on the repair tool because i never have one so uh if you have the repair tool please tell me do you have the same problem at the cockpit door like me let's take a look at the arm so as i mentioned earlier in the video um this part is different the shoulders is different basically most of the arms part is basically the same uh it's just a very small tweak from the repair tool so the articulation right here is a 360 movable very easy this shoulder is still just like the rg extra is very easy to pop out so it can uh lift up 90 degrees of course it can lift up uh but it's just it's just the shoulder is pretty easy to pop out just like the extra that i did before uh the arms can tweak down here as well 
and then we can you know bend the arms on a pretty good angle as well so the uh, movement is pretty fine it's just the shoulder can get a little annoying as well so for the hands option here we have a lot of hands options so first we have the fist hand we have the weapon holding hand then we have the open hand we have this full movable hand that nobody use anymore and or we don't see it on the RG kit anymore you have four types of hand for you to mess around so i think that's pretty good now we're gonna look at the waist and the legs together so the waist part i think they got like exactly the same like the normal extra design uh it's just the logos are different so you know it still contain the same thing where actually the front skirt is basically movable but it's not really much so now we take a look at the back skirt as i mentioned it is different it is a new design so i think it looks pretty good uh in my opinion i like this skirt armor more so at the side at the side skirt here we can see that there's two there's two gm beam sabers uh, but the thing that i don't like is uh because it's a clip that you clip onto the side skirt so you can put in the beam saber but the part is it's it's very soft and it's very loose as well so i really don't like this because if i just shake the camera a little bit and it would just you know keep uh moving down moving down very slowly it's 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 very annoying it's very loose and I don't really like that. Uh, look at the legs movement though. So uh, kicking to the side is basically not possible uh, because there's two uh, big circle thing right here. Uh, kicking to the front, we just have to move the skirt armor first before we kicking to the front. Kicking to the front uh, is pretty is pretty hard because the because the legs armor is actually getting in the way. It's very hard to kick to the front. Uh, kicking to the back is nine. Uh, kicking to the back is not really nine degrees. Uh, kicking to the side um, if you remove this part is pretty good but because most of the articulation is getting in the way by this uh, kind of uh, customized armor so it's very hard for you to move around the gown part and it's very annoying because this piece right here will constantly fall off but the articulation on this thing is pretty good we can clearly see the armor we're moving together when you move the legs so i pretty like that part the legs the oh my god is exactly the same um so you know this part right here this legs part right here is exactly the same so there's basically no difference at all and my legs armor just broke i don't know why my legs armor just broke apart but my but my feet just disassemble itself when i were moving it around and i don't really understand why so i don't know <laughs> but <laughs> i guess uh, i guess i bought a very flaw one so this piece right here is movable as well so i'm just gonna fix the feet a few moments later oh and by the way i have no idea what happened to my extra but the legs part just disassembled itself and now it's all broken i really don't know what happened and uh it, it is really weird i don't know why i think i bought i think i bought a premium bandai that got problems because it just disassembled itself <laughs> okay well let's move forward i don't really know what happened to my feet it just collapsed itself broke itself so i don't really know what happened there so let's just keep moving forward so first uh this kit contained the same thing that uh provided on the original extra they gave you a pair of beam sabers which have a plug on it so you can put it into the action hands and then we still have two types of beam saber that you can choose you can choose this long sword or choose the dagger type so really depend on you what type did you like and they also gave you the fairy oops they also gave you the most uh, the most not popular thing for a extra repair free they gave you the shield uh but you know it's exactly the same way that how you put onto the extra but really though i don't think it's really that interesting so i i would just ignore the shield because i don't think it's that really important on the repair free itself here's the thing i was gonna introduce about a sword and a rival but i kind of ran into a problem so my gn sword right here uh this this part right here will constantly pop out and there's no way i can there's no way I can not make it pop out if I don't hold it. If I'm not holding it, it will just pop out and then, you know, the whole sword will just fell out. 
but the rifle side here it is working out pretty well so i will think i think i will just do a brief demonstration so the rifle is pretty simple it's a it's a very long rifle by the way uh there's extra handle at the side here this scope right here is movable so it's easier for you to attach pack to attach pack is pretty simple you just basically need to clip it clip the piece in and that's pretty much it uh it's pretty easy to reattach back in it so i think that design is pretty good but it's just the sword part i don't really understand why my sword is not really attaching on the arms like i think my extra repair free ran into a quality problem hey guys i ran into another problem again i was gonna show you how do you pull out the gn tank but i realized that these two part right here for some reason no matter how hard i push it no matter how hard i pull it out um there's no way i can lose up the joints and let me take out the gn uh, condenser tank it is <laughs> I think I kind of understand why this extra repair free when I bought it is so cheap because <laughs> they got me a flaw one. Like first my gin tank can't pull it out, then my gin sword can't hold it, then my feet broke, and my cockpit door can't shut it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i never buy a re i never bought a premium and i that have this much problem on it <laughs> today it just broke every single every single record like this is the first premium band i that i bought that have this much problem on it anyway guys i decided to end this video right here because i want to show you guys a lot of things i want to show you the gn sword i want to show you how to pull out the tanks and i just find out that uh, there's no way for me to, you know, show you how to do it. And to be honest, I feel a bit sad as well. You know, I, you know, this scalper, I definitely recommend you to buy it because uh, if you're a huge x -Shift fan, you have a reason to buy it as well because, you know, uh, the, there's new design, there's new weapons for you. And, you know, it contains more of the x design. So as an x fan, you must buy it. But as a model fan, like myself, uh, I received a premium band hat that has so much flaws in it. Like, I already mentioned the flaws. Like, I have so many quality problems on this Gamba. Like, it's not even a joke. Like, it just feels pretty sad, man. I really wish that I could get my money back now. Because, you know, as I said, I like the suit. It's just the quality is kind of killing the overall finish. So, you know, I it's very hard for me to post this. Uh, pose right here because the GN sword, I you I spend a lot of time to perfect the GN sword to make it not fall out during the spin around. So you know, I would say that if you're buying it, I hope you don't get a quality problem suit like me. If you buy the Xavery or if you're planning to buy it, I definitely recommend you to buy it. Uh, but I just hope you don't get like a extra repair that just have as much as, as much problem as mine. Okay, I hope you get a beautiful one. I hope you get a great one. Uh, yeah, I, I all I can say is just I'm being very unlucky. So that's pretty much the re review. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell next to the subscribe button to get notified. And I'll see you guys in the next review. Goodbye.